Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about brand ambassador scams on Instagram. This video is going to be a combination of kind of my own experience being a brand ambassador and also I reached out to a few brand ambassadors on Instagram who were slash are brand ambassadors for the same brand I was an ambassador for just to have other voices in this video so I'll be reading what they told me about their experience as well but you'll see a common trend between my experience and their experience hence why I'm calling it a brand ambassador scam I actually did a lot of research for this video so I'm feeling very sleuthy so yeah if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to me please feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I'm gonna start by telling you about my personal experience being a brand ambassador. So I'm not gonna say the brand's name, but I got DM'd by a brand on Instagram on November 2nd, 2017. Okay, so the brand said, Hello, our brand blank is pleased to invite you to become an ambassador for our exclusive USA made eco-friendly young women line. You'll receive amazing benefits from our 20% off our entire website and free USA shipping. Get a 20% off coupon code for your subscribers, friends, and family, and earn 20% off commission on referral purchases. There's no fee to pay to become an ambassador. Let me know what you think. There is no fee to pay to become an ambassador except the fee of having to buy your own clothes from this brand to promote on your social media where if you don't have a large following you will most likely not sell anything which was the experience for me. I bought, hmm, I think I got two dresses two dresses came to around $80 with that 40% off so everything in my opinion was kind of overpriced when I got the stuff it was not good fabric and I even noticed that a lot of their clothing they used the same exact fabric for like different shirts skirts dresses it's like they just had this huge roll of like this one type of fabric I think it's one thing to be a brand ambassador if you genuinely like the clothes and it's like woohoo like I got this promo code I can use like I get a large discount and I genuinely really like these clothes will wear them but I feel like for me I was excited at the thought of being a brand ambassador because I was like ooh I felt like a mini model yeah this is fun but to be a brand ambassador you need to have like a large following you need to be someone that's going to be able to reach a large uh, large audience and that was not me like I don't have a large following so chances that I actually get people to buy the things from this random clothing company are like slim to none. So I said yes, the clothes came, I posted a few pictures, made zero dollars. I didn't even make the money that I spent on the clothes so it was a pretty pointless venture and I soon stopped buying their clothes and posting because I was like I'm not even in love with these clothes, I'm not making any money. I'm just waste. I'm literally wasting money. So I stopped doing it. I reached out to a few girls yesterday. Everyone was really nice too. I thought I was gonna be really creepy for just like sliding into their DMs, but everyone was really nice. So I just messaged them, kind of asking about their experience being a brand ambassador for this brand, and if they. I wanted to know. I'm curious if you have made back the amount of money that you've invested. Is what I asked them. So the first girl that responded said, "Yes." Yeah. So I haven't done much with it, mainly because I'm not working and I have sixty dollars to spend on activewear sets. I love the material. It took two to three weeks to get to me. I'm in blank and they're in blank, so not sure why it took so long. But the quality is really great, honestly. Next girl said, "Hey, I didn't make any money on it, but I guess it depends on your following because you make money." from your sales. Next girl says, but unfortunately like other ambassador jobs it's really hard to make profit out of it. Even people with a lot of followers struggle to make profit just by ambassador work since the incentive you get is very little and if you don't have a lot of interactive followers they won't use your code. But she also said that the reason she chose to do it is because that she liked their products, she was very satisfied with them, and so she was happy to share the clothing. So she just genuinely wanted to buy their clothes. They offered her the promo code and being the ambassador and was like, wow, this is perfect, like a good discount. So that's one thing. I think it's totally worth it if you genuinely like the stuff and you actually want it. Actually, a watch company reached out to me the other day. They commented on my Instagram and said, so pretty. We would be interested in partnering. Send us a message at blank to proceed. And they wanted to give me a 60% off discount code. Wow, sounds good off of their $200 random watches that I've never heard before, that no one's ever heard of before. So that's still what I'd have to pay. Well, that's hard. What, 80 $80? I'm not in the market for a watch and I said that to him. I was like, if you want to send me your product for free, I will gladly put it on my social media if it's a good watch. I'm not going to put up my own money. Like, I don't need a watch right now. Like, that's wasted money for me, you know? Like, and I'm doing you a service by taking pictures with it and trying to get people 
to learn more about this brand and maybe like this brand and want to buy this watch like why am I paying to do all that for you the more I think about it the more it doesn't make sense like I'm like why did I agree to ever be a brand ambassador I just, I'm rethinking it all. Also, I thought it was funny. So I go on the watch's Instagram page and I notice a trend, which is literally every single picture this company posts is just one of their brand ambassadors posing in the watch. So pretty much like people are paying them for their advertisement, you know? Like they're advertising on their site using pictures of girls who purchased their watches for their discounted price. Business-wise, it's probably like the most genius thing ever. <laughs> I'm paying you for you to advertise. Then, this is my third brand I'm gonna be talking about. So I went over the clothing line, the watch company, and now I'm gonna be talking about a third brand that I have a little connection to, which is a small bikini brand. I think they have actually, what's their following? So this was kind of funny because this brand did not reach out to me. I saw on their website that they had a place where you could apply to be one of their brand ambassadors. And conveniently yesterday, apparently they get back to you super quickly. So literally 15 minutes later, they told me I, I could be one of their brand ambassadors and they were gonna give me a 25% off coupon to use. And once they I did that, I would get the promo code to share with everyone again going through their Instagram. A ton of their pictures are their brand ambassadors. I started to look around, just out of curiosity, at their swimwear line, and I'm gonna insert pictures for this one, but if you can see here, so this is one of their bathing suits, and as I was looking at it, I was like, wow, this looks super familiar. Where have I seen this before? Oh wait, huh, this is one that I saw in Shein the other day for $13 looking familiar? Yeah. They're literally the same exact bathing suit. I looked at the material that they used to make each one of them, literally the same exact thing. So with our brand ambassador coupon, we would pay $35.25 for the Chloe bathing suit. And oh wait, if we're not a brand ambassador and we're just a frugal shopper, we can go on Shein, get the exact same bathing suit for $13. So this was another one. I was like, hmm, where have I seen this before? $45 and 25% off, $33.75 is what you'd have to pay. Oh wait, look at this. Shein has it for $11. So this swimsuit line is jacking up the price to three times, actually technically over three times what Shein has you pay for it. All of the bathing suits were between $30 and $50. So let's average it out and take a $40 swimsuit. So 25% off of 40, that brings it to $30. So I'm buying this $30 swimsuit and to even just make back the amount of money that I invested in that $30 swimsuit, I would need 10 of my followers to purchase a swimsuit using my promo code to just make back the amount of money that I spent on that one suit. Meanwhile, this swimwear line will have made $300 I think it's just something to keep in mind when you're considering becoming a brand ambassador. You really just need to think about like, do I really like the brand? Am I willing to invest my own money? Um, do I have a large following? Is there a good chance of me being able to make back the money that I invested in this brand? From reading a lot of different articles yesterday, it looks like brand ambassador programs that are most legit really should provide you with the products for free and you shouldn't have to put up your own money it's just, you know, you're doing work for them. Even though it's fun work, like it is fun. I mean, it's fun getting the clothes, having to take pictures in them, posting them like on your social media, but you know, it still is working for them and doing something for them that is to benefit them. Like they should do you a solid and give you the clothes for free and not expect you to just use some promo code to pay just like every other customer. Yeah, you get a little bit more money off your clothes than everyone else, but I don't know. I hope this video was helpful for any of you that are maybe considering being a brand ambassador, rethinking if you are currently a brand ambassador or it was just interesting for you to watch, which I hope it was interesting for you to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon.